Hi friends, I'm Jake. And I'm Miss. And we're Bored Down Under. Today we're having a playthrough of Black Rose Wars. We really enjoy this game. Um, it is a little on the complicated side. and it it's been I've Got a little cheat sheet so we don't forget uh, yeah, the turn right. order. <laughs> so it's been a little while since we played. Um, hopefully it should uh, flow through fairly smoothly. We did play one game um, just the other night, but we spent a bit of that time having to look up some rules mm -hmm. so um yeah if we have to do any of that we'll do some cuts and save you guys the pain but um let's get let's into play. it i'm playing uh as medusa and my okay. starting uh my starting cards have come from the trans um, transmutation i think that is mm -hmm. um and so. i'm nero and i chose the purple ones conspiracy as my starting cards cool yeah. all right time let's... to time to start Let's get into it. Um, for just a very, very quick one, for those that don't know, uh, this is basically, I mean, because we're only playing the two of us, it's kind of a dueling game, but we're a couple of mages uh, in the Black Rose Lodge, um, and we will basically be throwing spells at each other, trying to gain uh, points on the Black Rose track up here. Um, first one to 30 points wins, and yeah, that'll oh, well, pretty ends much the be game. It. First to 30 points ends the game, and then there are points after, so it could sure. change who wins. Yep. Cool. All, All right. right, let's get into it. So I see you've given yourself the first player token. <laughs> convenient, right? Let me Fairly convenient. My, <laughs> let me shuffle my cards. Right. Um, so I will grab, if you can, mm -hmm. pass me two of the necromancy. Wait, are we supposed to do that first or not? Are we... It's a good question. We do. We're not up to studying. Yep. We're in the black rose phase, right. so we do, we do this first. Sure. We do... This one. Couple an of quests. Event. An event. An event first. All right. So the event is Miscrable Dance. Each time a mage, oh, it's actually you're supposed to do this. It is, and it does give me the crown already. <laughs> this. Well, it was cheeky to give it to yourself for the first place. <laughs> Each time a mage activates a purple room, you earn one rose. So it comes into the board and gives two power points to the black rose, and it comes sure. in on the middle action and gives yeah, the black rose yep. one, two. And purple rooms activating during this set of rounds will give you extra... Extra points. Power points. All right. Good to know, um, good to know. Quest time. Yes. So now that I'm the first player, <laughs> I'll get my quest first. And Give the next one to you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Nero. Okay. okay. Yeah, look, my quest seems difficult in a two player game, but it hasn't got the three dots, so it is supposed to be in a two player game. Ah, and it I just see, is I what see. it is. I I'll see. try my best to complete it. Mine seems <laughs> really easy. So <laughs> it's a purple room, isn't it? You get to activate a purple room. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe it's uh maybe it's some colourblind. I don't All right. know. Well, next we move on to the study phase. So you draw two cards from your mm -hmm. own deck, and then I'm the first player, so I get to choose my four. I'm going to take two purples and two reds. What would you like? I would like uh, two necromancy and two uh, transmutation, please. So we're drawing four cards, and we get to keep two. Cool. All right. So leave those ones down, and I am. All right. Green one. Red one. Purple one. Well, I hope you're aware. All right. Now we go into preparation phase. Already fallen for my trap. <laughs> there is going to be. A fair amount of reading and understanding our cards in this game so again i'm not sure whether i'll edit this out friends or whether uh to let you enjoy the background <laughs> music that i'll apply to this and you know have some ambience while we think Oof. okay well um all right I guess I'm going to do... I've actually made some pretty quick decisions this time. You've done well. <laughs> I would like to say that I've done the same, but I just simply haven't. <laughs> Maybe next time. Alright, that one... 
That one, I hope I've put these the right way as well, because it matters. Yeah, All right. it does. You're up. I'm up. Um, I'm going to start off by... Playing my this card, which just so happens to be a trap card. So I set a trap. Mm, yeah, okay. I okay. think I will also do my physical action of move and activate. Yes, I think technically you're supposed to do that first, but that's okay. rather than play a card. Well, I think if you're in your oh, if you're in, if your, you're in your chambers, room, yeah. you have to move. You All right. Well, out, I'm so. moving to here, yeah, and I'll sure. activate because it's the purple room. So that gives me the the this event bonus, and I get a rose. And the pleasures room that I activate lets me draw a quest, which is over here. Uh, and then I will be ending my turn. All right. Well, I will be also moving and activating, and I will and activate the throne room. All right. Let me just check what my trap card was. <laughs> so by moving, you activated oh, a, a physical action, right? Uh. I assume so. <laughs> yes. You yeah. have. All right. And I put this this way and my active sides are the bottom. So I don't actually know which one it is. And the bottom is this side. Which did I choose? Oh, yeah. I chose this one. It says, target the mage that has just resolved a physical action. Mm. So your moving was. Mm -hmm. Inflict one damage and move him or her one space. Rude. Okay. <laughs> Do you get to, you get well, to activate that before I'm, I move? Don't you know. I no, I assume. I or assume. Is walking it's, a I action? walked and then you get to move me, so I don't actually sure. get to perform this action. Mm. Alright. Well, you've assumption. activated my trap. You get the damage, which you've done, mm -hmm. and I get to move you one space. Mm -hmm. I'll send you back down to. Okay. Where did I send you? <laughs> Draw a card. Well, I mean, I guess I do that because <laughs> I have no other choice. So I will do that and I will draw a card and I'm going to... I guess I'll pop that into my hand there and I use my standard spell. Summon a mutant altar in the target room. Earn a rose for each mutant altar in play. So, I will summon one into this room here. Mm -hmm. And you put your little, and I put my little, your little green my rose, little rose, so I know it's there. yours. A bit fiddly, but yes. quite cute. And... Again, oh, you need one, one of those rose. cards. Yeah, I'll find that if you can give me one rose. Oh, okay. yeah. That's my turn done, so go for it. Okay, I will do... I think I put it up here. Yep, I'm setting another trap for you. All well, this is... <laughs> so I'll set that trap. Um, active sides of the bottom. Mm. This card, I guess I just play it because what else am I going to do? Mm -hmm. I so <laughs> it lets me. Oh, are you three away from me? Maybe I don't. You need to be you know, three people? Mm, that's not move three away, that's three people. No, I that's think that's three, three spaces away. That's not a hex. It's that's target three. a person. Yeah, it's target oh. a person as opposed to a room. All right, I don't away. play that yet. And it, yeah, I think it has <laughs> to be three in a line of sight. Yeah, so I think even it does if too. I was here, you would So I won't to play that yet. I've done this one. Do I want to just move and activate? Mm. No, I'll just. I've done this one and I'll. I'll hold it out for now. Your turn. You'll sit. All right, cool. I am going to. Uh, move. You gonna attempt to get my crown again? Yeah. <laughs> and I'll take the crown. Mhm. Mm so that's so I'm flipping activated that. Activated, and you get the first play token. I do. What is my trap? Let me just. 
Yeah. I mean, this is what oh, I was yeah, waiting for. Oh, yeah, I remember for. what it is. You haven't activated cool. my trap at this cool. point. I have activated the throne room, though. <laughs> you have activated my trap if you've completed a quest. <laughs> As it turns out, when a mage resolves a quest, mm -hmm. he or she earns the rose, but I get to take your resolved quest card. Which, okay. at the end, gets added to my... Sure, sure. So I get two roses. But you still get the roses. Sure. Who are you? You're that one. One, two. And because I activated a purple room, I also gained <laughs> one. I knew this. your quest was going to be a purple room and match up with that. So one more, you said? Yep. And then I'm going to use my Rite of Change here to summon a mutant altar in the target room and assign one unstable to it for each mutant altar in play. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to place one here. Mm -hmm. And assign two unstable to this room. And there's a couple of these here. And that's my turn done. Mm -hmm. Your turn. I think I'm going to move and activate. And I'm going to move to the mirrors room and activate that. And I'm going to copy the pleasures room because I'm not a fan of my quests. So I'm going to use the mirrors room to copy the pleasures room and draw a new quest card. I think sure. I have to throw one out now because I can't hold more than two. No mage can have more than two active quests at the same time. Cool. If you exceed the maximum card, you must immediately discard with the Black Rose gaining the power points. Alright, well. So, resume. Way to let the Black Rose gain power <laughs> points. So, I'm not allowed to hold more than two quest cards, so I'm throwing this one out, and the Black Rose, I think, gains just, oh, the same as the Moon Phase, so one. So that's one I'm throwing out. The Black Rose moves up one. And I've done move and activate. You are within range for my next card so i'm going to do my next card gosh you're rude it's not actually well i mean it might be good it's not super good at the Did moment you move and activate yes i just forgot to flip that wow <laughs> so i get to move you up to two spaces okay yeah so i don't know what your game plan is i don't know what direction you're trying to go Everywhere. But I'd say because anywhere. we're trying to activate purple rooms, maybe that's on your agenda. So I guess I'll just send you back to your room because then you'll have to use a card to move out of your room. <laughs> Pretty rough, but it's not a friendly game. And that causes instability in my room to cast that spell. Alright. Um, and it's your go. Well. Can you move me into my room? Oh, am I not allowed to? I don't know if you're allowed to actively move into your room. Oh, you're only allowed to get sent there. I don't know. Day. Yeah, maybe. Look, how about I just send you here instead? <laughs> it doesn't really matter either way. Right. <laughs> but, like, I can't use my thing to do anything productive, so I guess I use it to move the cemetery are you doing this one no nope. all right well i can't remember what i played oh, ouch should have remembered what i played and moved you closer to me not further away <laughs> my card isn't going to work so i guess i just use it to move instead mm -hmm. and um I guess I'll just move towards the garden to be more central mm. on the board and I'm out of turns. You've made a poor <laughs> movement decision. I'm close to you and now you can attack You've me. lined up. <laughs> that so was a bad choice. The target mage, <laughs> you will regret your, your decision. I regret it, I regret it. Yeah. The target mage uh, loses one rose. And I earn two. That's the rose I stole from you. Yeah. Well, consider it stolen back. And you've hit you've hit our half moon already, Jake. That's a little early. Off to a flyer. Um. Yeah. I mean, you're six points ahead of me, which is a fair few. <laughs> but you wait. I'll come back. It's all right with that quest card that you stole. <laughs> all right. Um, um, clean up phase. 
Yeah. We have no summons on the board that do anything. My my altars. Yeah, no are... evocation phase. So could you have attacked cleaner. this, by the way, with your card? Or, or it says two damage to the target. No, I could have, but chose not to. Not okay. because I didn't realize I could. Just because I chose not to. Ah, I see. <laughs> Game plan. All right. So clean up. So we flip the rooms back over, right? Mm-hmm. Um. We do. We put do, them we back do. over. All our used cards go to a discard pile. That's right. Um. So we move over the moon. Is that right? This happens instantly. Yes, change that. Yep. Change that instantly. So we move over the... And that one too. Yeah. Um, and well, that might be it. You go clean up your board. Mm-hmm. And then that's cleaning up. Consider it clean. Look at that. Amazing. Alright, so the first thing we do is move this, right? It moves down one. Uh, potentially. It might move down when like another one gets drawn up. Honestly, I'm not sure. Um, I don't remember. It possibly no. only moves if one is I think it just moves. Yeah. I think it just moves. Okay. Shift events to the right, yep. and then draw. All so right. shift events to the right. Events to the right. And then the, f the person who's not the first player, so me, gets to draw. Doesn't have the crown. <laughs> yes. So it says, during the action phase, all wounds inflicted will be increased by one. And oh. the black rose gets one point, and it goes here in the middle. Mmm. Um, you don't have a quest, so you get to draw one. Thank you. I shall. Um, and then we will be up to the study phase. We're trying to choose from our hands. What are my quests? Woof. 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 All right. Well. So I draw two. Yep. And I've already got this one here. And then you're first to choose. And then you put these over. Thank you. Uh, can you get me two of the necromancy and two of the transmogrification? Transmutation. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Mm. Thank and you. And I'm going to be taking some uh, red cards this turn. Supposed to spawn in here. Alright, yep. Yep, cool, cool. Alright, we're good. So Back I've track. discarded yeah, two, I'm two cards plus the one from my hand that I'm allowed to discard. And now we're into it. We are into it. Also, I think I forgot to put a, yeah, I used an un, un instability. Okay. Um, I didn't activate that though. So I forgot to put an instability token here when I shot you, when I zapped away your points. Sure. All right. All right. I'm done. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. So first things first, I'm going to move mm -hmm. and activate. Mm -hmm. Mm, interesting. Do they like this? It's not a purple room. It's not. What does it do? What did you activate? Well... Draw two cards from your grimoire? Instead of the normal effect, mm -hmm. draw two cards from the grimoire of another mage. Rude. Do you get to keep them? Then decide whether them. to keep them <laughs> or eliminate them from the game. I've never played those cards. I don't even know what they are yet. So I'm going to keep them. Fine. Do I get to know what they are? No. <laughs> <laughs> Rough. Not at all. All right. All right. So I'm keeping those. Yeah, it's still That's your turn. That's my first I'm just checking. turn, I'm just checking and then I'm going to activate my one of these, one <clears throat> which lets me summon a mutant altar. So I will summon a one of these into.
Summon one of these here. Okay. Yep. And that is me done. Okay. Oh, I get two. I earn one. Oh, you point. get stuff for this? Did you put yeah, that on? Yeah, and I get two points for that. So, so you three want three points in, in total. One, two, three. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna have to move because I need to be within three spaces of you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, I guess I'll move and activate the throne room, which is a purple room, so I get a rose mm-hmm. and the crown. Mm-hmm. Yay, I'm back on the board. You sure are. Uh, so I've done this, move and activate. Yep. I will then be using this card and choosing you. Mm-hmm. For this turn, mages in the target room cannot leave the room using physical actions or spells. So to leave the room, you need to spend a card. Sure. Okay. Uh, and that's two things, so I'm done. Okay. <laughs> what other cards have I played? So is it only this room? Like, I'm assuming once I've paid to leave this room. Yes, yeah, it's only that room. Yeah, all right. So I will pay this to move out of this room. Mm Mm-hmm. And here. You want to, like, bunk with me? I do. Interesting. And then I'm going to use my physical action. Oh, you're going to punch me. I'm going to... Use this. Wait, what did you use? Oh, physical action movement. You didn't punch me. I okay. didn't. No. I thought you might have so punched I've got me. My five cards here. Oh, the ones you stole from me. That's right. <laughs> you want one of these? So these are going into my uh, discard. Does it cost five or four? I thought it only cost you four. Let me check. Sure, sure. It'll tell me here. Four. There we go. But if All you right. want to pay five, nah. you go ahead and pay five. You've you do you, me. Jake. Nah, you do you. You have convinced me. Keep this, I think. And that will be my turn. Done? Okay. These were these two? I gave you one of those. One of those is the forgotten. So I get three. Oh, you get get three, sorry. So I get three and then I get to pick one of those. I'm pretty sure. Yep, draw three, add one to your hand. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. My go? Mm Mm-hmm. I will. I'll do my uh, spell number two. And I will inflict three damage to your room, as in you, not, not the room. So I do one instability, they give you three damage, plus mm-hmm. that thing lets me do another damage, right? That's what our uh, event yeah. was? Yeah, it did, it did, it did. From me or from a black rose damage? All right, I will then, I will then use this attack, and I again choose your room, and it inflicts two damage on you, plus the added one. Um, if you do leave the room with a physical action, which you can't do because you've already done that, you would have got two more damage, but you can't do that, so that's fine. Um, I've so done two things, so it's your turn. Cool. Uh, okay. I am... Good lord, look at the damage you've inflicted on This me. thing lets you do an extra for both things, so get in while it's there and this attack, attack, broken. attack. <laughs> yeah, what's my last card again? <laughs> oh yeah, that one. I like that one. All right. Uh, so I remove an altar. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to remove this one. Mm-hmm. For what benefit? <laughs> to gain two points mm-hmm. and add two unstable to the room. Mm-hmm. And that's me done. Okay, well. So I gain two points. I'll move and activate Mm -hmm. and I'll move to the cemetery and activate the cemetery 
which lets me, what does that do? Get a little evocation guy. Can you find him in there for me, please? I can. What are you um, after? And, the lich and the yep, And that was my quest to activate the cemetery. And it says, in addition to the normal room effect, make a summoned undead act. So, so he once he gets in. up, he gets to do an action. Yeah. And I got one for completing my quest. And he spawns in the room and grows. <laughs> and... Well, this seems grim. Yeah, he's going to go punch you. Bonk. All right, well, I've Bam, been bonked. to bonk you to your room. Mm-hmm. Um, which means... Have a trophy. I get a trophy, yeah, which goes here. And I get, for being the only contributor to your death, five, five power points, Jake. That is a large sum One, of power two, points. One, two, three, four, five. Necessary, though. I'm slow climb to catch back up to you. Um, and then my last card, Ooh. my last card was my shift to the target room and activate it, and I'm going to shift to the pleasures room because it's purple so i get a rose for activating it as well as a new quest there you go well that worked out pretty well for you and that did cause instability sorry where i was standing in the cemetery mm -hmm. and i think that's done i think that's the end of our turns so evocation phase yep so that guy is going to do something well he can't go attack you in your room he can walk two spaces and attack this yep. for two damage so my three it has two damage left um and yours don't move right mm-hmm so we're cleaning up. That will go into my hand. I get to draw one of these. These go here. So three, uh, two points to the rows. Oh, came off the board. Yep. One, two. Uh, you've done this clean up. So burning velvet key lock. All purple rooms are already activated. Flip the room activation token. Furthermore, all mages in these rooms suffer two oh. by the black rose. Actually, that's not a, that's not too bad because now no, don't you don't get the extra you, yeah. power point when you get to get all my damage. So it's not too bad. I'll deal. All right. Uh, and yeah, all the purple ones are flipped. Everything yep, else, yeah, you've done that. Cool. So all right. Out and I do out. get to steal the. And oh, it gains yes. two. The, the black rose gains did two. Did I do that already? Points. Or was that no? I did one for taking yeah. it off. Yeah. Alright. Um, so you've stolen that. Mm hmm. And do you have any quests? Uh, I do not. Then you're I've allowed to draw one. Quest. Thank you. That's for you. That's very kind of you. And then I think we'll be up to studying. I'm going to take two green, and I think I'll take two of uh, the necromancy again. Two green. Why not? Two necromancy. All right. Yep, you're first. Okay. I'm going to move to the... Gonna move here. Mm -hmm. Activate this. Mm -hmm. So I get to draw three of these and pick one. And I'm going to activate this, mm -hmm. which is a defense card. Mm 
Okay. And that will be my turn done. So um, sorry. No, nothing. That's fine. Alright, alright. This is what I will do. I will be doing this card, which is a trap. Mm hmm. And I will be move and activating. And I will be doing the mirror's room. And as the mirror's room may copy an effect of an already done room, I'm going to choose the room you're on. Okay, sure. <laughs> Out of options. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, you can probably choose any of the purple ones, I assume. True, true. Hmm, that is true. No, I will look at some quests too. What do we get to do? Draw three, you can swap one of your current ones. Yeah, because I have got one that I don't want. So the one I'll be swapping is that one that I can't do. And the one I'll be keeping... I'll keep... Uh, I don't know, I'll keep that one. <laughs> Decisions. What's this thing again? Alright. So, I've set my trap, I've done move and activate. I think that's the end of my turn at the moment. I've mm -hmm. done two things. Okie dokie. Uh, so I will... Summon a mutant altar in the target room and gain one rose for each in play. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to choose... It's too hard. That one there. I think. Yep. That one there. And I gained three roses, which I'll do in a moment. Mm -hmm. This gets two of these. And that would be. Oh, you be... want me to move you up three roses? Is uh, that what you're I saying? can do that. You have your turn because I think I'm going to okay. stop there. Um, I'll choose my next card, which is also a trap. Mm hmm. And. I'll stop after setting my trap. Sure. I'm feeling uh, like I got a lot to remember at the moment. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. One, two, three. You said three. There's three, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to use my implosion right to remove a mutant altar and assign four to the room so I'll do this one mm -hmm. you're just trying to blow up rooms today <laughs> turns out I don't like rooms you don't get that yet we do that in the cleanup okay no sure. probably doesn't make a difference but we do it in the cleanup sure so that probably doesn't turn it over all right and uh, that will be me done Okay, interesting. Hmm, I'm just gonna have to. It's maybe not the most efficient thing, but otherwise I'm gonna be wasting a lot of cards. So, are we moving and activating the abyss, which yeah, a bit, a bit unfortunate. But my quest was to activate. Oh, actually, it might be okay. Oh, hmm. yeah, okay. Activate the room is my quest. Mm -hmm. Instead of the normal effect, send one mage into his or her cell. So I believe I can send you to your room because yeah. you're a bit naughty. Yeah. Blowing up rooms and stuff. Okay. Uh, and that's completed. So I get two points for completing it. And I'm going to stop right there. Okay, I'm going to move, what does the oracle room do? Um, draw one card of your choice from your grimoire. Add it to your hand, interesting. Add it to your hand. Yes. I'll move here and I'll take this. Oh, you've activated my trap! Sure. <laughs> Traps. 
Um, when a mage enters a green room, inflict two damage to the mage. Mm -hmm. If the mage leaves the room before the end of the turn, inflict two more. But you're not going to be leaving. But I inflict two, but that thing's still there, so it's actually three. Okay, well, I don't take the damage. Oh. Ignore the next damage okay, suffered. Okay, fine, but you <laughs> set off both my traps. Sure. <laughs> and that's the same card. <laughs> Ah, uh, well that one probably doesn't work. Well, like this that. one does, doesn't it? Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like that one will hit me. Yeah, yeah. You, you've, you've stopped one of them. Okay. I could have got six damage on you, but I only got three. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, I activate you moved this. and activated, yeah. And it's your turn. Uh, okay. Have you got that left? Or that's no, I just, just used that. And I okay. get one, one rose. But you've stood where I can't see you, which is a bit annoying. So what was the trap if I... Go in a green room. Oh, Shouldn't have gone in a green nuts. room. Should have walked that way. <laughs> Savage. Okay. So I'm going to spend this one to move. Mm-hmm. Do you just get to move one space or two? Uh... Two, because that's like my... This or one? Doesn't matter. If it's one, I move to here. I think you only get to move one, but yeah. honestly. No, nope, that's fine. Know. I'll just move to here. I can see you, so that will be fine. I'll do this one, which lets me inflict three damage to you, plus the extra one from that card still being on the board. Rough, man. And it also gives instability to that room but that room's full so mine don't get to go on probably not I there's don't no know spaces for them, so I'm yeah. assuming I mean it doesn't say replace yeah. so I'm assuming I missed out but you do add some inst instability to your current room Ooh, one believe. to my room yep yeah. right um and that's all my turns done yeah well this is so grim the evocation phase? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Although, oh no, it's not going to kill me because that's not yeah, in the action phase. It only gets two, two, and it's not in yeah. the action phase. So you just managed to live because of your, your shield that saved you from the other damage. Stepping into a green room, eh? <laughs> Should have known. Um. So my evocation's gone and done its damage. Yours don't move, so I think that's the end of that. I think we're up to clean up. Mm, mm hmm So these go to our memories. These things get flipped. Fancy game. Purples are gonna stay crossed over, aren't they? Are they? Because that card's still there. Okay. Clean up to check it. check instability on rooms, so that's when you get this now. <laughs> Kablambo. Mm -hmm. But I think you still stand on it, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, it just can't really be used anymore. Yep. So we go to the Black Rose phase, and that's going to move out and give the Black Rose some points. How many? Four. Four. One, two, three, four. And then... Um, so can I throw out my quest card now? Um, you can. I mean, I guess you can before you get to the bit where you draw them. I don't think I don't know. I think you I can. We read this. It's in last this order, time. so you can. All right. Yep. I'll, I'll yep. You assume know. it's written in the right so order, and we won't slow just it. Just gets two, later. right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Because we're in the second moon phase. Um, and now you've got the crown, so I'll do the event card. The Black Rose Room can be activated whenever you like during this turn. Never flip the activation token. And it comes in through the middle, which I think forces that one down there. And the Black Rose, when this comes in, gets four points. It's flying on ahead of me. And it actually gets up to the moon, the full moon. So lucky you. 
You'll now be drawing one of these. Crikey. So that's for you. That goes there and swap these ones over as well. This game is too big. Reaching all over the table. Um, Alright, so you had no quest, so you've drawn one. But it didn't have a crown on it, which means you're still player one. And we go into study time. Yay, study time. Shuffle my cards. Oh, we got up to the third moon, so your card goes in your hand. Your character card. Right, thank you. Alright. Get it into my hand. And then draw two and let me know what cards you want. Uh, two necromancy and two transmutation, please. So you go first for our action phase. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to inflict two damage to the target model what? and I convert two. Wow. Smooth. Okay. I'm then going to inflict two to the target model mm -hmm. and inflict one additional for each completed quest. To that a I've done or that five. you've done? No, I think to you. To okay. a maximum of five. So how many are you hitting me for? Five. Am I dead? No, okay. What are the things on our board again? All purple rooms aren't already activated yet. Okay, and what was this one? Black rose room can be activated at any time. Yeah, okay. And that's me done. Okay, my go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... You wanted to do something no, else? No, I was going to put unstate, uh, instability, but the room's already blown up. So. <laughs> I'm going to set a trap. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to play this purple one. Remove the target evocation and take its place. Earn one rose and I can activate. So I'm going to go up here and heal. And then I'll be in your line of sight. Either way, I'm in your line of sight. I'll go heal. So I'll remove that. Mm -hmm. And I'll activate and heal too. And they get one rose. Hmm. What about this one? <laughs> it's okay. That's okay. Uh, it's your go. You're going to use a physical action. I am. <laughs> You've activated my trap card. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I mean, I assume I end up here first. Yeah, I don't sure. know you, what the yeah, order do is. Yeah, do your movement. You, yeah. Movement is your thing. I mean, I guess. Target a mage that has just resolved a physical action and inflict one damage. <laughs> and move him or her one, but you die, so. Well. Soul's well, about that one. Well, well. And so I end up back here and my this. activation is ruined. <laughs> All right. Cutthroat game, unfortunately. All right. Um, I don't know whether I have to use my action to move out since I've used one. Like I kind of don't want to. I kind of I just mean, want to stay where I am. You've kind of had your turn, and if you want to stay there, you've done one thing on your turn, you can pass yeah. to me. I think that's pass. fair enough. So I will set a trap. <laughs> And I'll pass to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you're using physical action. <laughs> You've activated my trap card. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is starting to feel like I'm picking on you a lot. I if feel there was like... more players, I wouldn't be picking on you this much. <laughs> oh. All right, so... <laughs> Have you finished walking where you wanted to walk to? Uh-huh. So no, I haven't, <laughs> but I mean... Well, choose, choose where you uh, end. Sure. Target a mage that has just resolved a physical action. You can move him or her 
and another model to the same room by one, and then earn one rose. Okay. So I'll move you. Mm hmm. I guess I'll move you. What's my last card? <laughs> I'll move you here. Mm hmm. And I get a rose. And a model, or you uh, don't... No, it was only... You can move him or her and another model. Oh. Yeah, I guess it could be anywhere. I assume it's... You yeah. can move him or her and another model to the same room. Yeah. Okay. So, what, this could move to the same room as you? Yeah, so or your... I mean, I assume you, you move your actual guy that can hit people. I'm just confused by if it could only move one, how could he get there, though? I'm not sure if I'm reading it properly. So target a mage, there's just, so I targeted mm -hmm. you. You can move him and another model to the same room by one, or just that, and he gets to follow along, even though it's more than one. I don't know. I want to say it doesn't Well, it matter. says, yeah. and another model, I guess, and yeah. then put them in the same room. Yeah, I think you put yep. them... All right. Yep. Well, he comes to visit you. Cool. All right. I'm really sorry, but I don't think I'm playing nicely in this game. I'm going to move and activate. Uh-huh. And I'll move to the arena and activate the arena. <laughs> 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 Which means that we both have to resolve our next spell. Mm-hmm. So I... <laughs> I mean, I don't know who resolves first. Uh, Probably doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know. So I resolve this and I'm going to place that there. And I gain one one point. Mm -hmm. Yep, there we go. Okay. Um, and mine was shift to the target room and I can activate it. Okay. I guess I'll move to this red room and activate the summon room to get another evocation. Mm -hmm. That makes me complete my quest of a blue and a red room activated during a turn. Okay. Well, this is quickly got out of hand. <laughs> uh, and then I just need to get his little card. Uh, that's my turn done. I'm mm -hmm. saving that one for later. Um, so I remove three. Oh, and I did cause instability, sorry. Sure. But I haven't always remembered. Um, and I assume it was back here where I did the card, because that's when I flipped it up before I moved there. Probs. I don't know. So I remove three of these. And summon an altar. Yeah. And that's the end of my turn. I put one instability in this room. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Alright. Well, I've only got this thing left, mm -hmm. and I can't punch you from my current position, so I'm going to be moving and activating. Where can I move to? Don't have enough cards to go there. Could go to the garden, but seems. Kind of lame to be honest. Mirror's room's pretty good. Yeah, alright. I'll move to the mirror's room. And I'll copy. I'll copy this. I'll get another one. Well, you got all these altars I want to attack. Alright. <laughs> Fiddly little roses in. They are a bit too fiddly. I do like They're them. They look cute, but man, they fall out easily. No. And one of these. Alright, so uh, we're all done with turns, so we're up to the evocation turns. Mm hmm. How much health do these guys have? Four. Four health. We have these on here. And these guys are going to move three spots. And 
he punches for two. So one guy, this guy, he's going to move one, two, three and kill that one off. Mm-hmm. I'm torn. I'm torn between killing off another altar or just giving you the damage because, you know. Mm-hmm. I guess. Oh, it's such a hard choice. I don't know. Oh, also, I completed my quest. Sure. During one's uh, turn, play all spells with the same element. Ooh, nice. And I get to gain four points and look for a card in the School of Magic and add it to your hand. I should be paying more attention in games and know what these give you. I know they gave you Black Rose points at one point. So I'm assuming that's all they do, but I don't know for sure. I'm going to give the damage to you, I think. Okay. Not sure about that one, though. That could be the wrong move. If you think that's the wrong move. No, no, my damage. Oh, yeah, right. Your damage. If you think oh. that's the wrong move, let me know, because I really don't know. And not you. I'm talking to others. Okay. <laughs> I don't want tips from you, because you're not going to give me <laughs> tips to win. Alright, so that's the end of evocation, so now we clean up our boards. Cool. Discard those, flip those over. Um, flip these back over. Possibly not the purple ones, is that event going to move off? Uh, it does. Well, then the purple ones will flip so... back over. Black Rose gains Did you give yourself three. points for that card? Because I didn't move you. I did. Okay. Yes, I did. And Black Rose gains three. You're doing that. Three. Um, we've cleaned that up. Doop, doop, doop. I think we're good to go. We start again. So. Oops. Looking at those, like, I get to look at those. So you draw a an event card. Key. Okay. Oh, it's got the crown. The mage with the least roses, me, steals one rose from each mage in play. <laughs> you only just got ahead of me then, right? Oh. <laughs> and the black rose gets four when this comes in pretty strong. Three, four. And it's an instant effect, so it just goes away. So what's that one that's still in? I don't know. Oh, the Black Rose Room, where you can activate it as many can times as you want. Can be activated whenever you It doesn't like get flipped. Never flipped the after. Oh, okay, sure. All right, so we've done that. Now, neither of us have quests, so we get new quests. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That seems really hard. That seems really hard. Um... Next, we study. So that's already in my hand. I dropped two more. What cards would I like? I would yeah. like, yeah, uh, I think four green, please. One, two, three, four. All right. All right, I set a trap. Mm hmm. And then I'll play this card. Inflict two damage to the models in the target room. The altars in that room suffer five. Wow. Okay. Well, that seems like I've made some poor decisions. <laughs> Uh, and hmm. I've done two things, so it's your go. Okay. Well, I will. Move mm -hmm. to here. You've activated my truck. <laughs> When a model enters the red room, inflict three damage to all models in the room and one to all models in adjacent rooms. So you have actually hurt me. 
in the process. Well, no, you've hurt you. So sure. And by these guys. You've. <laughs> these guys also get hurt. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. So now, I won't even get full You marks. get four instead of one. Four instead of five. Flipping you. <laughs> what was my quest? Oh, oh yeah, I can't do my quest. This seems just crazy hard. Unless I don't understand it. Um, so, ideal uh, target mage loses one rose, and I gain two okay. roses. One and one, two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is that all you're doing? Uh, it, oh, oh, I you activated yeah, this right. thing. So. Which lets you get a, a guy. That's me. Done. Mm -hmm. Do we flip one of those? Mm-hmm. Okay, well I will. I'm real sorry. <laughs> Inflict two damage to all models in the target room. Mm -hmm. If the hit mage leaves the room with a physical action by the end of the turn, they'll suffer two more damage. Okay. It's my. Oh, I haven't got a Cerberus token. Yeah, I didn't get a Cerberus. Both of those got Both killed got last turn. When you blew them up. Cerberus. Oh, he's only got two. Dude, I just killed him. This has been... I do feel like I'm bullying you, and I wish there were other players here so I could spread my bullying more evenly. <laughs> uh, nature of the game, but I definitely should not have gone with this altar thing, because... Uh, I... Well, it seems to have some counters to... I mean, I think, why not? And I've got no way of killing you people, because i got no spells that deal damage. So I probably should have adapted instead of sticking, sticking with, with my guns, sticking with out. my strategy. Um, hey, yeah. I'm gonna move because I don't want to stay next to you. Although you just said you got no spells that hurt me, but I'm gonna move and activate mm -hmm. to run away like a scared little wimp. Uh, two, I will run away too. Okay, well, what does the garden do? There's nowhere I really can get to that I actually want to be, so I'm just going to go here and draw one card from the library and just go for a purple one. Mm hmm. To my hand, right? Yep. Alright, you'll go. Alright. So I use this Ooh, to move. That would be good to have last turn. And I assume that's not a physical action because it's using a card to move, but. Yeah, that's not I a physical think action. These physical actions. Yeah, those are using that isn't a physical action to cut use a card. And then I kill you. Oh, ouch! I think. I mean, you can still reach me, so I assume so. I'm actually so confused. Mm -hmm. Isn't that self? Um, that picture means oneself. What does your card say? Inflict two damage to the target, then inflict one damage for each of your completed quests. Maybe because it's your quest. Oh, and it's my quest yeah. as well. Yeah, I think that's why it's got the picture of yourself, because it's your quests. But you'll still do four damage, which kills me. Well, yeah, well it does two good. plus your quest, so I think I'm dead still. I think I have to I go to my room. supposed to deal as much damage to you previously. Before, yeah. But, yeah. Can't but remember. I don't really know what range. I assume it's got. Two it hasn't got anything. I assume it's got anywhere range because it doesn't write it. I don't know. If they don't specify. So you kill me and you get a trophy. So you have a trophy, and because I had helped you to kill me, you get four points on this tracker. 
One, two, oh, three. Oh, dude, four. the other side's the one I wanted to play anyway. Oh. It's the same, Am but it's. Am I still it's, dead? Yeah. Yeah. It's the same, it just does it for your completed quests. Oh. But, so one's like my completed quest, sure. the other's your completed but, quest. But. Four yeah. killed me. Yeah, 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 I didn't know. So. Um, I'm in my room. Are you having another turn? So I've done that and then I did that. So yeah, right. I'm done. So I have to move out of my room. Mm -hmm. Just before I do, I want to see what I played. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's what I played. So I'll move and activate. There's no rooms around here that I want to activate. Yes. I guess I'll move and activate the mirrors room and copy. Oh, what am I going to copy though? Can't get another summon. I can copy that. I guess I do that. I don't know. I'll do that. So I'll copy that and get another card mm -hmm. in my hand. So I've moved and activated and then I'll use this card, mm -hmm. which is to inflict two damage to you. I'm going to convert three damage from in that battery. I think I keep forgetting to put my damage down. But there's only one way to convert. Um, okay, so I killed you, so I get a trophy. Mm hmm. done all my stuff so I'm done okie dokie so I have to move out of where I am I'll move here despite not really wanting to and look at these three swap those and then I use this mm -hmm. Which is my UBU card. Ooh. Look at four quests from the previous moon deck. Pick one, take its uh, treasure, and earn two roses. Mm, that's pretty so nice. Four from the Just previous four, I deck. Assume. Yep. That's a pretty nice special. And that will be me done. And I'm already done. So after that, we'll be doing evocations. Yes. And you've kind of run pretty far away from me. So I'll just do my these guys while you're doing that. I think so, yeah. Yep, so this one can walk three. One, two, three. Oh, I've dropped my rose. Too fiddly. And he does a punch for two. This guy can also move there. This poor guy though can only move two. Can't make it. So I guess he moves to the middle for flexibility reasons. I'm going to hang on. So I get to gain two. Mm -hmm. But I also You get the reward or something? Yeah. So mm -hmm. one, two. Um you need to I'm summoning a bone knight. Uh-huh. Which I believe is one of these. And I assume it summons in the room that I'm in. Alright, so I maybe wanted to not give you my damage, it's what yeah, you're saying. So find a bone knight. Here's a bone knight. He's got all oh, a big old giant four. And you're right, as the player one and my guys go first, I'll probably kill him so he doesn't yes. how, how much can he move actually? Two. Two. Can't get to me. Could kill off my evocations though. Yeah, I'll kill him. I'll just Okay. Just take care of him. Again, don't know if it's the right choice. This is where I get stuck. Sure. What's better, killing off your guys or killing off you? And I just don't know. All right, so back to what we were doing, which was cleaning up. Cleaning up. All done. Cleaning up. All right, so this one's on the edge, so it's going to 
move out and when it moves out it gives one point to the black rose um we may discard quests we have i want to discard mine this is what my quest was i'm discarding it activate a blue room trigger three shield spells and one trap spell yeah that i can't do that i mean to play a game i've not not done a lot of quests you've done one extra quest than me and you stole one actually no we've done the same amount of quests but you stole one all right the black rose has made it past 30 but we've started this round so i believe we finished this round i guess that so. was on 31 that's why i moved it up oh it has that doesn't it 30 plus one mm -hmm. um so you do an event because i've got this and sure. then we'll get You no longer have that, that's fine. Right. The mages can play a spell from their hand during the action phase as it was a ready spell, paying one uh, rose to do so. Oh, go down a rose to have a card in your hand that you can yeah, play. The mages can play okay. a spell from their hand okay. during the action phase as if it was a ready spell, paying one. Okay. And how much did the rose get going in? Uh, what number's in that three? From that card, what did the rose get? Yeah, three. Three? Sorry, yeah. One, two, three. Yep. And now uh, you're the first player. So you, oh, you've got a quest. I'll just get a quest then. And then we're up to studying. Oh. I'm not gonna be able to do that one either. <laughs> Rough. Oh, maybe I could. What's already in my hand? Um, okay, I would like to take. All necromancy, please. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna take. Um, can I just ask a quick question? These things pictured on here are elements, different types of elements. Uh, yes, I believe so. Okay, well I'm going to then take one, two, Have I picked up? No. Ooh, three. And. Four. Will I be able to complete my quest with these? Not with that. Which means. Quick question. This card that lets you play one from your hand, if it was a trap card in my hand, that doesn't matter, you can still play it. Oh, it says a spell. Mm. Mage can play a spell from their hand, so a trap card couldn't be played? Uh, oh, I don't know. I thought they were all spells. Even like a I trap thought, is a I spell. I thought all the cards in your hands were spells, but I'm not sure, sorry. Okay. Well. Which way are we going to play? If I have a trap in my hand, can I use it with that card or I need to play it on my card? Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can, I guess you can play it, that's fine. All right. All right. So I'm going to move. Uh-huh. And activate this. Uh-huh. And... Instead of the normal effect, I may discard four cards from my hand. Mm -hmm. You take the throne room mm -hmm. and it becomes unstable. Ooh, well that's powerful. Also, you've ruined my plan a little bit. I needed to set a trap before you completed your quest. <laughs> well, 
But, ah, well, these things happen. Sometimes we don't set our traps early enough. <laughs> uh, and they're all discarded. So you... Oh, and then... I was there. And then I will... Um, target major loses one rose, and I gain two roses. Okay. And your turn. Okay. Um, well, I'll do this card first. Mm hmm Which says, I can use my physical actions to walk and punch until the end of the turn. Yeah, okay. Move and... Oh, but then you'll be able to punch me back. Nah, I'm here. I'm punching. Okay. Ta. Thanks. <laughs> Works right. better when we flip each yeah. other's tokens. Uh, okay. Yep. Oh, I caused some instability before I left. Where was I? In the mirrors? Yeah. So I'm going to... Put up a shield. Shield. Wow. And I'm going to inflict two to you uh -huh. and steal one rose. Uh huh. Go down one. I go up one. And that is. My turn done. Mm-hmm. Okay, you've got a shield. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's not a good idea. Right now. I guess I just do this and you probably shield it. So i got to do it anyway. I'll inflict two damage to you. Mm -hmm. And if it's a mage, steal one rose. Okay. So you have uh, thingied me. Yeah. But I gain two roses for each. Damage you take. Oh, uh, well, one rose for each damage. So, right. so you yeah. get two roses. Two rose. you also, I steal one of those roses from you. So you me. go up one. Yeah, and, and I go you up go up one. one. Okay. And the room's already blown up. Okay. You've added the damage, yeah. I've put two yep. for you already. Yep. Um, and it'd be nice to have 12 hit points. Should have chosen a better character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? It'd be nice to have a hand of eight cards. Would it? Have you ever had nah, seven? I've only had yeah. like four. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Five, maybe. Um... I'll pass. Alright, no, I'll move over here and I will summon one of these guys. Mm -hmm. And I summon a his name? I'll get him for you. Mutant Volta. That's okay, Cerberus. Don't don't worry about it. You don't want him. He's not gonna hang around much. And well, again, before one... me, he's gonna get to have his turn before my oh, guys. Okay, sure. Cerberus and a mutant altar. And that's the end of my turn. Okay, there's your cards. Thanks. I'm going to do this card. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have to be able to see you, right? You do. Some of the range, those other yep. ones aren't gonna get to me. I'm gonna move and copy that. Mm-hmm. Um, one over here. Yeah, and it's the one that now gets mm -hmm. new health. Um, okay, so I've moved and activated. Then I'm going to use this card, because I can see you now. And I'll inflict two damage to all models in this target room. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you uh, got out my card for this guy. <laughs> um... And I did do one of these. Is this an evocation? It is. I get to remove it, not that it really helps with anything. Mm -hmm. But it gives me one point, so mm -hmm. I still do it. It gives me one of these. It didn't quite block my room, and it gives me one of these. And the best news is, 
I achieved my quest of playing four different schools of magic spells with four different elements. Crikey. Yeah, oh, which gives me four different oh, elements. Oh, that's why I was asking if this was elements. Oh, one of them, oh, one of them. Oh no, they're both fires. Uh oh. <laughs> no, it's a lightning. Uh, Isn't lightning the element? I don't know. I mean, that's I think I elements on. in the middle, right? The right. lightning is like the type of cell it is. Okay. The element is the Okay, middle. this is this is news. I thought the lightning was gonna count. Um in that case. If I was to play a card by spending a rose Mm -hmm. With that thing that has a different element, that would be okay, right? I guess so, yeah. Even if it was a trap and doesn't get activated. I guess so, yeah. Because it's been played? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well I had to spend a rose to play it, but I now get to earn five roses. So I'm going to go worthwhile. I have. So, for anyone that's still with us, uh, <laughs> and yeah, uh, there, there are so many like edge cases and intricacies in this game that just aren't super clear from reading the cards, that they're not defined in the rule book. The rule book has it. got like uh, a section where they explain each card, but they've basically written the same thing that's yeah. on the card. Like, yeah. they've changed a couple of words in there, they haven't really cleared it up at all. It makes there's it a lot quite of, difficult to know. There's a lot of, if you want to enjoy the game, just play 90% yeah. what you think is happening. Yeah. Otherwise, you will spend so long looking up rules. Yeah. Like, alright, as you were. Uh, I'm done, that's my cool. card's done. All but right. my evocations get a turn, so I'm going to. Maybe still be able to kill you. Yeah, you will, because you killed my guy. Which yeah. Which is a bit sad. Yeah. Alright. So honk. I kill you to get some more points. <laughs> and that's. Five. That's rough. And we're done. The game's kind of over. Did you remove your one point for playing that? I did. I went down one, but then I got to go up five, yeah. so I figured it was Bit worth rough. it. Bit rough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Yeah. Well played. Uh, the rose wins. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's end of game scoring. All right. So we've uh, we've counted up points. It turns out that uh, I won by yeah. two, which is don't know how. <laughs> very surprising. Yes. Uh, so did you cheat? Did you count correctly? Ah, uh, look, I'm pretty sure. I didn't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Well done. A close game. I am known as a cheater, so <laughs> it's entirely possible I've cheated. But yeah, with uh, seven points from these things mm -hmm. and coming second place on uh, yeah. the trophies and, and uh, quests. Yeah. Gives you a few points. You still get like points for coming second. Half as many points, so mm -hmm. it was enough just to inch just forward. Just inched up. So it turns out, even though I thought I was getting destroyed and uh, activating trap cards all over the place, left, right, and center, and not being able to do the things that I wanted to do on my turn, and feeling sad, <laughs> I was still able to come ahead with uh, yeah, gaining gaining points from the altars. So there yeah. you go. The altars were pretty useful. There was times when you gained a number of points in one shot from mm -hmm. them. I think they're. Yeah, quite useful. Yep. But yeah, some of my cards did counter them pretty well. Like I had that one that yeah, blue, killed a couple in one spot. Are, and I shouldn't, I mean, admittedly, this is lack of experience with the game, but yeah, knowing that there's a the card same, like yeah. that. Or even just because you can yeah. choose a room and do damage, like, yeah. I think yeah, for the, that's true for the well. most part, spreading yeah. out is, is a better overall strategy. Yeah. But yeah, every time we play this, I enjoy it. I enjoyed playing it now, but I think it is better with more players like so many of my cards say things that if there was more players the cards would be more powerful and yep. even like you saying you're activating all my trap cards if someone else moved into the room they're the one who activates it not yeah. you so a very very different dynamic if you play with two compared to a bigger yeah. group i mean i think two player games uh tend to lend themselves in my opinion at least better uh to be games that don't have an element of luck in them right like um you know Two-player games, they're really good at being strate uh, strategic. Mm -hmm. um, this game suffers a bit from, one, the quests, 
getting quests, you know, that you oh. can or can't achieve. They your vary first quest, so I knew much. it was going yeah, it was to be. activate a purple room. The event yeah. comes up about purple room. Yeah. You look at your quest and smile. I was like, nah, Jake got an activated nah, purple yeah. room quest. He can double the math and so there's, score big yeah. here. There's a huge amount of luck involved mm -hmm. in just what quests yeah, you draw. But true. on top of that, uh, it's also what cards you're drawing. Because, yes, mm -hmm. you can choose what uh, school of magic you want to draw from. But the school of magics, um, you know, they've got such a variance we of cards within them. We haven't gone through them. a whole deck of any of yeah, them. Yeah, no. And, and that was with me going, you know, um, uh, transmutation and, and necromancy mm -hmm. thing, and I've only got through half the, the sort of deck. So mm -hmm. even there, you know, there are cards that I'm sort of looking for and not finding. And because half of your hand on any turn is generally going to be cards that you've drawn from there, you can just draw very, very unlucky. And sure. that's... It, it can be frustrating in okay. in a two player game where it's you know sort of neck and neck. It can feel like if you end up having a turn where you don't get to do anything because you've drawn really poorly, it can be frustrating. Add some more players in, and it, it feels a lot more chaotic and fun. Like the game is fun, mm. so despite the fact that we're constantly having to ask questions <laughs> yeah. about can you do this, can you do yeah. that, what's the rule here? The reason we keep playing it despite that yeah. is because it's an enjoyable game. Yeah. I like the game. It is. It's but it's chaotic fun. It's chaotic yeah. fun. It's it's difficult not knowing how to interpret the rules when they're not not straightforward. Yeah. But look, if I mean, if you're someone that needs to go by rules, and I sort of am, uh, this game can be difficult at times because you want to know well how's this supposed to play because one way it's going to benefit you and one way it's going to benefit me so yeah. like you know which way do we let the dice sort of roll here um, i'm happy to roll know. a dice at that point and yeah go, well that's, dice that's says this true. let's do yeah. it that way because i just yep how, let's get how on with the game like, on dice. whatever yeah exactly whatever's going to make the game move along let's just do that yep it's more my style all right, guys. Well, thank you very much. It's been a longish video. Um, hopefully, I'll cut out some uh, some of the editing and, and um, cut out some of the editing. <laughs> hopefully, I will edit uh, some of the uh, wait oh, times yeah. and that sort of thing. Reading, and trim reading this down. that many cards takes time. It does. It's not yeah. a short game. I think we've spent about what just over two hours to play this. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, we cut yeah. the video down. But yeah. Hopefully, I can time. shorten that down um, somewhere around an hour or something. Anyway, yeah. uh, thank you very much for watching. We are bored down under. We're no longer bored because we just played a game and had a lot of fun um, surprise ending as well yeah thanks, thanks. for watching guys we'll see you hope to time. see you again bye bye